guys, as you guys can see, I have attempted to take the motor off the Sanchez moped that I found in Big Trash Day. It turns out that I need to go back to the house that I found it and ask them for a title. Because you can't write it licensed without a title. And I kind of want to write it licensed because if I get it caught, because if I get caught by the police, they're going to impound it and it'll cost a bunch of money. More than it's worth to get it out of impound, which I'm not going to pay. So I'm not going to put a bunch of money into the Satchez, um moped, get it impounded, and have to pay a bunch of money to get it out, which I'm not going to pay. So I guess I'm just going to have to go back and get the um, title. So, as you guys can see, I know nothing about motors, obviously. <laughs> um, I tried, and I'm still trying, so don't get me wrong. And, yeah. Well, uh, the last video I did, I did not get very far with taking the motor apart. It was just kind of me looking around at it. But this, today... Uh, off camera, I was taking the part because I got really curious, and it's um, it's not looking too good. Uh, I took the um, this off. It's the part where the, the um, gas goes into the engine, and now it's leaking gas all over the place. It's a giant puddle right there right over there and I do not know what to do about this giant puddle and all the pieces are all over the place it looked like a disaster I took the um, exhaust off that looks bad everything's looking bad Oop, there it goes leaking again even more even worse and ah I don't know what to do. That gas stinks. You guys ever smelled old gas? It's probably five year old gas. And it might just be scrap. But I'm trying. I'm trying. You know? Ah. The parts are worth a bunch of money off eBay and stuff like that. Platform I'm on. And, yeah. Ah. I am going to continue taking this thing apart, trying to get these wires off. And here's the uh, back brake. That needs to come off. I tried getting that off earlier. It just wouldn't budge. I just, eh, I guess. Well, 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 well. this off. Um, I don't really know what to say right now, so if I'm silent, because I'm working, and yeah, if you guys want to see my progress, you guys can take and skip ahead in the video, you guys can look all over the place, it's not going to be a very exciting video, so yeah that is still leaking I don't know how to get that to stop yeah I don't know how many times I've said this already in this video but it's a disaster ish it's a disaster ish my first ever motor I've worked on and yeah What is this? Oh. 
well. There's a spark plug. That's cool. I know. Yeah. Something new I found. So all the. I think it's a single cylinder uh, machine. But I wouldn't know. I don't know anything about mopeds. But yeah. Spark plug. Oh, if I, my phone's recording right now. But I'm supposed to look up the parts, see how much the parts cost, if I would ever need to replace them. I think the spark plug's one of them. Ah, oh no! I just don't want any of these to rip. You know? Well, well, well. These things are really handy wrenches. They're one of like the twisty ones. So you guys can like twist them to whatever way you need them. Like large, then they'll go small. Mm hmm So I started taking bicycle motors apart. And that's how I kinda or not motors, just bicycles. The wheels off and stuff like that. And that's how I got interested in taking stuff apart. If, I told you guys in my last video, but if you guys haven't watched that, I totally recommend it. But I don't know how many times I said it in that video. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it in this video. But this thing is greasy and as grimy as all gets. What is that thing? Yeah. Yeah. Very yuck. Ah. Ah. Oh, what a mess. up against it no. does absolutely nothing and yeah and see this thing plugs in right there and that goes up to the steering or that all connects in all those wires and stuff same for this this plugs in right there and I, I really tried to take this thing separately off the entire machine I'd watch a YouTube video and how he was working on his motor. He took it all the way off. So oh, yeah, I can wonder if I could take it all the way off. Well, I got halfway done taking it off and I realized, oh boy, this is. I should have just worked on it while it had the motor on it. And well, I just might have to work with it with the motor off. And. Dirty, greasy, and grimy. the power line over there. That's neat. They've got like the cherry picker crane thing on the truck. I just amazed how thick this grease and grime gets. Like how will that even get there? By running the engine apparently. I don't know what this thing is. This hole that goes in. Whoa. That goes in pretty far. It's all rusty. I don't know what that is. Hoping to get this part off, you see it comes off with a few bolts, but the bolts aren't budging, and 
Yeah, maybe I gotta take the engine apart. I think I might just have to do an entire engine rebuild. You know, I should have just got a tester and overrided the thing up there. Just test it to see if it worked without any. What do I need to do with it? And you know that key I saw on there? Was in there? Uh, that's actually just to lock this in place. So if I even wanted to take off, they couldn't steer it. So that's not even the ignition key. So, they override the ignition, and yeah. Well, and once again, I should probably mention this early on in the video. This is, oh, what is that bird doing? It's cute. It's kind of eating off the grass. And this is like a 1982 Satcha's, um, a 1982 Satcha's moped. Yeah. Looks like the thing's done emptying. And it's just a mess. It really is a mess. Um, I'm almost thinking about just putting it back together. Yeah. Putting it back together. thinking right now guys so I'm just thinking in my head about what I'm gonna do really weird Disconnected and stuff. Like, I don't know how I got that disconnected, but the rest of it's not disconnected. This was out the front tire. I got the front tire off earlier. I had the rim and everything, but the tire was all dry rotted, like I'd mentioned. Um. That's how the room is supposed to look. It's supposed to go all the way up like that. It's a really solid um, thing. Oh, don't want to spill that. Great. Very solid. See, I don't see a bit of plastic on this. So that just shows how classic it is. Uh, except for like this and that little electric tube connectors but yeah and this is plastic and tail lights made of plastic but that's it like normally you guys would see on a newer bike like a lot of stuff would be plastic um trying to think maybe the fenders plastic um all sorts of things I don't really have a bike or, something, or anything with a bunch of plastic on it to compare, you know? I'm not really a moped specialist, so how, how would I know? But, yeah. Well. Um... You know guys, I better watch some YouTube videos about how to take engines apart before I take engines apart. Which I didn't do, let me be aware. Yeah. 
yeah. So, in this video, I just thought about how I was going to get the motor undone, and I didn't want to do anything, so I don't know if I'm going to publish this video or not. So, if it gets published, if you guys are lucky once you saw it, just know that I was this close, or like, this close to not posting it. Um, check out my other videos, they're a lot more exciting. If you guys have made it to the end and wanted to know what the end was like, I got absolutely nothing done with this. So, uh, definitely watch some of my other videos. I, my last video I got, I just looked over it. I don't, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. So, yeah. Uh, totally check out my other ones. I am... Like, subscribe for more awesome videos. Not like this, <laughs> but um, do like and subscribe for more progress on this. Much more progress. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Um, I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos about this. And oh, whoa. okay, and that's just about it. Oh, my thumbs in the way. I'll see you guys later.